Greetings, everybody. So I want to talk about when the transgender tea is spilt. Honey, it can do a 360 in a split second. I'll explain. Uh, now, I don't think I look like a man in a dress. Uh, no offense to men in dresses. I do think that most people, when they look at me, they know that I'm a transgender woman. Well, every once in a while, I'll, you know, encounter somebody that doesn't clock. They don't spook my tea. <laughs> they don't know that I'm transgender until they do. And that is the moment I'm talking about when the transgender tea is spilt. So I'm just being me. I don't hide who I am. I am just me. I'm not trying to pass as a cisgendered woman. I am a proud trans woman. Uh, so anyway, I get stuck on I-95 some years ago. I ran out of gas of all freaking things. Oh, my God. Thankfully, I had a gas container in my trunk. So I grabbed that. I'm walking on the side of I-95 trying to get to the next exit so I can get to a gas station to get some gas. And all of a sudden, this car pulls up. And so I'm like, oh, thank God someone's going to help me. So I get to the window, and I lean down, and he's smiling, and he's like, you know, you need some help. So I said, yeah, I ran out of gas, and I'm trying to get to the gas station to get some gas. And I tell you no lie, in a split second, his smile turned into a frown, okay? If you could have seen the way he was looking at me, it was like a deer in headlights, and they're like, what the fuck? And all of a sudden, he zooms off, and I'm thinking, hello, what happened to your humanity here? Didn't you want to help me? Honey, when he realized I am transgender, he got the hell out of there. So, anyway, I guess he was looking at the shape, you know, my figure. That's what made him stop. And then he found out <laughs> that I'm trans. Anyway, you know, thankfully, in this world, oftentimes when you feel like you're alone, there's that angel that comes along. Or should I say that tranny lover? <laughs> and they can be both. They can be a tranny lover and an angel, right? <laughs> So about three minutes later, another car pulls up, and it's this guy, and I will just say that he didn't have a problem with me being trans. Actually, he liked the fact that I am trans. So, you know, thankfully, he, you know, came to my rescue that night. He helped me because I was a dangel in distress. I needed someone to help me. <laughs> anyway. Another situation that is an example of when the transgender tea is spilt. This is a recent one. So I go to the snail shop. I've been going there for years. I went the other day to get my nails did. And there's this new guy that started working there about five months ago. He's young. He's cute. I mean, he's han really handsome. Uh, and he's been so sweet with me. Like when I walk in, he waves, um, you know, he says hi, he smiles. But the last two times I have gone into the salon to get my nails done, he doesn't say hello anymore. And he gives me this stone cold stare. The energy has totally changed. Like I'm, t I'm talking about like day and night, night and day, totally changed. I'm like, what the hell? What's going on? So the last time I went, I tried to make an effort like to smile at him and say hello. Honey, he turned away so quickly. And in that moment, it, it clicked in my head. I know what happened. I can almost guarantee this is what happened. The, the time before the last two times I went, I was leaving the salon, and he was by the door. So he held the door for me, and he smiled, and he said, bye, like that. So I can almost guarantee that when the door closed, he probably said something about me, like, oh, she's so nice, or whatever, to his coworkers. And they were like, you know what that is, right? Honey, I can almost guarantee it, because it has, like, done a complete 360. You know, it's a complete 360. So I'm like, listen, 
just because you are cute, you're young, and you were really friendly with me doesn't mean that I wanted you, boy. <laughs> no, let me stop playing. Uh, but seriously, it doesn't necessarily mean that. Damn, I'm like, you know, we are two fellow human beings living this human experience. We can't, just because you know I'm trans, we can't be friendly with each other? I mean, come on. So anyway, that's another example of when the transgender tea is spilt. Now, sometimes when it spills, it's not a bad thing, but honey, I have a load a lo loads, I should say, of stories I can share with you about <laughs> when it goes south, <laughs> all the way south. So on that note, I want to wish everyone love, happiness, peace, good health, prosperity, and many wonderful blessings. And you can still like me as a person. You can like my content of character, even though I'm trans, despite I'm trans. Hello?